Welcome back my stand-up channel. Did you criminally interfere with test and trace to meet your own professor Neil Ferguson has said the Indian coronavirus variant could end up hindering the government's roadmap out of lockdown if it proves to be more infectious. Professor Neil Ferguson said that the B1.617.2 strain could hinder the government's roadmap out of lockdown if it is shown to be much more transmissible than previous variants. The Imperial College London scientist was one of the first to publicly warn of the true danger of COVID-19 and called for a strict lockdown in February last year. Speaking at a German media briefing today, the SAGE member warned lockdown measures may need to be tightened if the Indian variant spreads at too fast a rate. His caution came as data showed the mutated virus is now spreading in almost half of England's 300-plus authorities. Against that backdrop, Professor Ferguson said it was impossible to say whether the June 21 date for the final lockdown lifting would go ahead. It's not how high cases rise, but how quickly, he said, Sky reported. If they double every 10 to 14 days and hospital admissions follow the same trend, then there is a concern. We were expecting cases to rise as we relaxed restrictions but if they rise too quickly that's a problem. Today the UK registered 3,180 new COVID-19 cases, the highest daily number since April 12. It is too soon to say whether this is part of a consistent upwards trend, however. The number of cases reported each day has been broadly flat for the past month. Sometimes dipping below 2,000, most recently on May 17, but mostly staying between 2,000 and 3,000. Some parts of the country, particularly those where the Indian variant is known to be running rampant, have seen big increases in case rates. By contrast, Blackburn with Darwin in Lancashire recorded a week-on-week -week rise in rates of 168.3, up from 145.0 cases per 100,000 people to 313.3. Clackmannanshire in Scotland saw a rise of 131.9, from 29.1 to 161.0 and Bolton in Greater Manchester saw a rise of 125.5, from 321.7 to 447.2. There are reasons to be cheerful however. Case rates in the vast majority of areas continue to remain at levels last seen in late summer or early autumn 2020. With around 4 in 5 areas currently recording rates below 30 cases per 100,000. The vaccine rollout continues to go well, with 38,378,564 people have had a first dose and 23,616,498 a second one. To further gladden the heart, the Indian variant may prove to be less of an issue than some have feared, Professor Ferguson has said. If it turns out to be only 20-30% to 30 more transmissible than other variants, and is only slightly more resistant to the vaccine, a third wave of infections will be small if it comes. Source. Mirror.com.uk Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.